Hello everybody. So, good day. Today we are going to start <coughs> the new topic virtual reality. In fact, the lectures will be taken by my scholar uh, Krantriaditya Dhal Mahapatra. In fact, he is doing PhD work in this area virtual reality application to safety management and being a new topic and very relevant topic in the context of industry 4.0 and in the context of safety engineering particularly from hazard recognition, avoidance and prevention through design point of view. We have been working in this area for couple of years and recently uh, we have developed our laboratory and that is safety analytics and virtual reality laboratory. The lab is equipped with requisite hardware and software related to virtual reality based modeling, simulation, data visualization, hands on training and related uh, activities. So, in this first lecture uh, the content will be uh, first the what is virtual reality and different aspects of virtual reality, then evolution of virtual reality over time and then what do you mean by virtual reality system as a whole and then applications of virtual reality not necessarily in the area of safety, industrial safety in the area of uh, other applications, other industrial applications. So, with this few words, I am just handing over this lecture material to my research scholars, my beloved student uh, Mr. Kantriaditya Dharmapatro. He will take you through the virtual reality lectures, three or four lectures including the two days one and I am sure that you will enjoy the lectures and this is the some kind of additional or advanced um, topics related to industrial safety engineering. So, you try to grab as much as possible from this lecture and Granthi you please continue. Hello everyone, so as Professor Mainte introduced I will take you to the through the lectures of this particular video. So, first is let us go to the introduction, what is virtual reality? So, virtual reality can be defined as inducing targeted behavior in an organism by using artificial sensory stimulation, while the organism has little or no awareness of the interference. So, in this particular definition, the three important terms are targeted creation of targeted behavior in an organism using artificial sensory stimulation and the user should not be having any awareness of the interference that is created. That means, it is not the normal, is, uh, normal stimulation that uh, sensory stimulation, it is the artificially created sensory stimulation in an organism to achieve a certain objective that is create a certain targeted behavior. So, what are the key elements in a virtual reality, virtual reality environment? So, first one is the virtual world, second is immersion, third is sensory feedback and fourth is the interactivity. So, let us see what is virtual world an imaginary space obtained through a medium which is the collection of objects in a space and certain rules associated with that those particular objects. Similarly, so immersion means sensation of a user being in the virtual world means sensation of a sensation to the user being present in that particular virtual world. It can be a mental state or can be obtained through any physical means. Then sensory feedback, it is the visual sense that receives feedback based on user's position and this feedback requires high speed computer as a medium. The computer having high end graphics card and high speed RAM which will help in obtaining different sensory feedbacks. And final is the interactivity, it is the user's ability to interact with the virtual world 
by changing position, picking up objects and settling them down. For the interactivity purpose, we are uh, certain uh, hand, tracking, uh, hand tracking devices and certain sensors are used so that the interaction will be possible of uh, users interaction will be possible with respect to the created virtual world. So, let us see how the virtual reality techniques or the virtual reality um, uh, complete virtual reality is evaluated. So, first it started with invention of flight simulator which is invent, which is the work of Edwin Link in 1929. Then Morton Helig he invented the multimodal display system which is all, all, uh, 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 which is otherwise called as sensorama. Similarly, next is the invention of head mounted display by Komoyo and Brand in 1961. Then the famous famous researcher even Sutherland who invented the interactivity interactive computer graphics with sketchpad application and finally, he went uh, went to invent ultimate display interaction of user with uh, object avoiding laws of physical reality in 1965 also. Then he went on to uh, invent the image generation system NonoView for flight simulation. Then artificial reality environment by Myron Kruger in 1976 and the Cyre globe is, uh, uh, is the interact interaction device that is invented in the year of 1977 in electronic and visualization lab of University of Illinois. Then Eric Howlett, he actually uh, de developed this large expanse enhanced system, perspective system in which wide field of view from a small display can be generated. Then J Brooks Jr. He invented the VR system adding HMDs, optical trackers and graphics engines. And finally, the CAVE system is which is a virtual reality visualization system. It is developed in, a, in the same electronic virtual visualization lab of University of Illinois. So, what is the virtual reality system is composed of? So, first one is virtual look at this diagram. So, there are main the three main phases of this diagram first is the organism, first is the organism, then is the VR hardware, then is surrounding physical world organism, VR hardware and surrounding and phys physical world. So, the organisms any movement or activity is tracked with the help of VR uh, hardware and the stimulation will be propagated to the organism also by creating artificial sensory stimulation which I already explained in the first slide. So, the VR system consists of organism that is human user, hardware components such as computers and headsets and controllers and physical world. So, the hardware components produce stimuli that overrides the senses of the user by tracking motions of the user. That means, the over override the senses of the user means the user must not be having any interference of the artificial simulation sensory stimulation created. Then head tracking, controller movements and eye movements and along with that movements of other body parts are very important which is which is tracked by the use of virtual reality system. Then user will always have other senses that will respond to the stimuli from the world real world. Then VR hardware might also track objects other than user if interaction with the object is created inside this virtu particular virtual reality developed virtual reality environment. So, how it works? So, this is a comparison between the real world and this virtual world. So, in this real world the um, natural stimulation will be propagated to the sense organs of user that means human and it will go to directly go to the brain and brain will accordingly act as per the uh, as per the received stimulation. That means, brain controls its configuration while the sense organ converts the natural stimulation from the environment into neural impulses that are sent to the human brain. So, in the virtual environment what is the case? The virtual world generator runs on a computer and produces another world that is different from the real world. So, the user will perceive the virtual world through each targeted sense organ using a display and which emits energy that is specifically designed to mimic the time type of stimulus that would appear without VR. That, that means, in this case the most important part is the virtual world generator then the user perceives the virtual world with the help of display. The process of rendering the information from the virtual world generator into output for the display is called as the rendering. Rendering process is converting the 
information from uh, virtual world to the necessary output desired output is called as a rendering the display might be a smartphone screen screen of a video projector a speaker nowadays you can see most of the androids or iphone mobiles is having virtual reality virtual reality technique so that it is very easy for the people uh, for the user to use this technique for any certain uh, creation of virtual environment and certain user interaction so now let's see what is augmented reality and what is mixed reality so vr can only give feedback which is uh, limited level of realism means vr involve limited level of realism due to lack of certain sensory feedback and which is not that because of this reason so perceptual and cognitive view points are not accommodated in the virtual reality system so this is now overcome by the application of aug augmented reality which is an emerging technique and which integrates the images of virtual objects into a real world that means inserting the virtually simulated prototypes into the real world and creating an augmented scene ar technology can enhance the person's perception with real entities person's perception with real entities that means virtual reality lacks the perceptual and cognitive view points which is overcome by the uh, um, overcome by the augmented reality and ar establishes the connection to the real world while maintaining the flexibility of the virtual world it, it should not be it should not happen that virtual virtual world will will lose its flexibility because of this application of augmented reality so as there is blending of this reality and virtuality both vr and ar can be referred as the mixed reality which is the most commonly used term nowadays the mixed reality so see here this real environment virtual environment and augmented reality which creates the bridge between the both real and virtual environment so virtual reality is remotely remotely the user will be using it remotely leaving your body behind then physical reality with, in which the user will be interacting with the physical objects in the real world and the augmented reality which i already explained in, in which perceptual and the cognitive sense can be created and the telepresence telepresence means the remotely you can operate any certain operation the, any certain uh, desired operation that means nowadays in healthcare system certain surgical operations uh, surgical procedures are performed remotely by the healthcare experts so these are called as a telepresence remotely using the virtual reality so what are the vr hardware components let's see first is the displays so displays are the physical perception of the virtual world is based on entirely on what the computer displays so display is a method of presenting information to any of the senses it may be visual it may be oral or it may be haptic so there are three kinds of display system first is a stationary display then head based display and hand based display so stationary display are fixed in a place and the output is rendered to reflect the changing position of users input sensory organ so it is basically monitor based or projection based using different pro 3d projection systems then head based displays which is which are worn or attached to the user's head or move along with the head here the display move and remain in a fixed position relative to body's sensory inputs so example of this are occlusive hmd's head mounted display and non occlusive head mounted displays and finally the hard hand based displays which move in conjunction with user's hand and all senses cannot receive stimuli from all types of displays so these are the hand based display are least used nowadays so mostly you uh, head based display and stationary display are used for the purpose of create um, for the purpose of displaying the sensory stimulation to the user so let's see what are the visual depth cues so human while while visualizing perceiving perceive information regarding the relative distance of the objects relative distance of the objects in various ways and these indicators of distance are called as the depth cues means while visualization what the user is perceiving about the distance of object that is called as your visual depth cues so three three types of visual depth cues depth cues are there first is monoscopic image depth cues 
second is stereoscopic then motion depth cues and finally is the physiological depth cues so monoscopic de depth cues is related to the static view of a scene as in photographs and paintings you can see the monoscopic depth cues similarly stereoscopic de depth cues is de which depends on parallax which is the apparent displacement of the object viewed from different location and motion depth cues are that it depends on the parallax created by the changing of relative position of the head and the objects being observed and final one is the physiological depth cues which are generated by the eyes muscle to bring an object to into a clear view so apart from uh, visual depth cues let's see what are the vision sound and touch that are very important for the vr hardware so for the vision purpose nowadays dlp that is digital light processing projectors are used or lcd liquid crystal display projector are used or lcos that is liquid crystal on silicon are the latest display techniques which are already customized for vr some of the examples are google glass microsoft hololens and avang and glyph so for the sound purpose speaker technology are used latest technology includes bone conduction method this is very important which is nowadays a major um, breakthrough in the in the domain of research virtual reality research that is the bone conduction method which vibrate the skull and propagate the waves into the inner ear that is the use of google glass or um, uh, google glass are very much used for this purpose and the purpose of touch haptic displays are used 6 degree of freedom or 8 degree of freedom haptic devices are used in which feedback can be given in the form of vibration pressure or temperature next the interface to the virtual world so vr system needs hardware devices that monitor the user in order to provide the user information necessary to make a display physically immersive and inputs from the user are also enable to or enable them to interact with the virtual world so there are two types of input to a vr application that is user monitoring and world monitoring so user monitoring includes continuous tracking of both users movement and users initiated actions so active uh, there are two kinds of user monitoring also so first one is the active user monitoring and second one is the passive user monitoring in the active user monitoring user inputs the information into the system that means the examples can be given as use of spoken comments physical control like wands joysticks steering vehicles and keyboards these are the active user monitoring uh, devices similarly the, there are some passive user monitoring devices also so in in which in passive monit user monitoring information is supplied to the computer about where and how user is moving and how they are looking inside this particular virtual created virtual environment so this passive user monitoring can be achieved with the help of body tracking that means hands eyes and feet movement can be tracked along with position tracking that means user location and orientation whenever there is a motion of user with respect to virtual environment so users location and orientation can be tracked with the help of position tracking that that in, that that will come under the umbrella of this passive user monitoring now after the user monitoring the world monitoring the world monitoring is here the real world input and information about change in virtual world is carried through time or user manipulation the real world input is often used to create portions of virtual world in real time this type of information is gathered by transducers application of transducers which is a equipment that gathers information and translates the data and which report information about a portion of the real world that means the example is weather monitoring station the what they do they use the transducer to uh, gather the information about about the real world and translates the data and converts it to a propagates that information to a virtual world so this is the use of the weather monitoring station now the inclusion of real world data in vr application is very helpful in various scenarios such as analyzing and exploring acquired scientific data then preventing users from colliding with objects in a real world then preparing a real world for a dangerous task which cannot be which is very much easier to train in the virtual environment then planning for modifying or using real world space and finally the educational experiences in which the training educational training is given to pedestrians some of the examples are uh, training to the pedestrian training to the firefighters so this kinds of educational experience also can be given to the users
finally the computers which executes the virtual which edu executes the virtual world generation the location of pcs are very much important for body fixed displays if separate pc is needed to power the system fast reliable and com fast reliable communication must be provided between the headset and pc that means the connection between the headset head mounted display and the uh, computer should be that much fast and reliable specialized computing hardware like graphical processing unit gpus have been optimized for quickly rendering graphics to a scene and they are adapted to handle specific performance demand of any virtual reality applications then display interface chips are also used to convert inbound videos to display commands then microcontrollers are also frequently used to gather the information from sensing devices which are used for the artificial sensory stimulation and send them to main computer using standard protocols such as usb so these are the some taxonomy of virtual reality and ar uh, augmented reality input input devices so here the ty type handheld wearable and special devices are also there special techniques are also there then what are the devices used for that then who are the producers input and information what are the information we are obtaining so for the vision audio motorial location and orientation different vr and uh, vr ar input is up, uh, written here so Uh, for vision all kinds of hand um, all kinds of possible all kinds are possible that is handheld is possible wearable is possible and special are also possible likewise for the location handheld special and orientation handheld are possible so for the, what are the devices those are used for the for this purpose so first is the default camera infrared camera then microphones for the audio purpose then for the motorial purpose what you are using mouse gamepad joystick keyboards for the handheld devices hand and head trackers are used then accelerometer which is generally used for the tracking of users head movement then the wearable devices gloves data gloves or different kinds of sire gloves are used in which the users finger motion are captured or different activities regarding this wrist motion and the um, yaw pitch roll can be uh, captured with the help of these gloves so for the location purpose now it is gps and rfid techniques are used along with this ultrasonic techniques and for the orientation infrared and ultrasonic devices are used so the producers regarding this are vr controllers intersense tracker controllers these are some uh, uh, re reputed devices uh, controller producer devices leap motion 5 dt data gloves then motion tracker oculus rift intersense tracker controllers are also used so for this devices the inputs are for the vision the inputs are image or image plus infrared for the audio obviously the input is sound for the motorial inputs are movement key strokes and for the handheld you can say movement and acceleration and for the wearable the input will be movement and similarly for the location we are getting the input as a location then location indoor or outdoor the orientation and detection so what are the different information we are getting the pattern recognition motion tracking is also possible invisible object can be recognized then speak speech recognition then select text and gesture also can be um, uh, obtained then motion tracking position fixing roll pitch and yaw tracking so these are the information we can obtain with the help of this vr and ar input devices so similarly for the, what are the vr ar output devices and what are their output and information we are obtaining it is clearly mentioned here so for the for similarly for the vision audio touch smell and taste this kinds of this kind of output what are the outputs we are obtaining from this we'll see here so basically for the vision purpose the device that are used is handheld devices or head mounted devices or special devices hmd wearable and both hmd plus special for the audio purpose hmd are also used handheld devices are also used for the touch purpose handheld device and special devices are also used and smell hmd and for the test hmd are used so what are the devices relevant devices used for the for this purpose so mobile devices optical devices projectors lcd displays then video see through glasses holographic projector then polarized display and gas glasses analogic glasses and default devices are also used for the purpose of audio also obviously speakers headphones and earphones are used for the touch purpose haptic devices vibrating mobile devices and game controllers are also used then for the smell and taste purpose gustatory display are used 
So, who are the producer for this particular devices? Google Cardboard and the virtual Google Cardboard and the virtual devices which vir Oculus and Oculus Rift and NBS HMD are used. Then the JBL sound so surrounding sound, Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, Oculus Game, Xbox controller are also used. Then what are the output we are obtaining from this kind of devices? Let us see the image then 3D images, surrounding sound, stereoscopic sound and, sound and different kinds of motion and vibration along with taste and smell for the type of output device like smell and taste. And the finally, let us see what are the information we are ob obtaining with the help of this kind of devices which are which we are using. First is text kind of information we can obtain, then virtual information about these virtual objects, highlighting, 3D tests and 3D textures can also be obtained along with 3D highlighting. Then what are the direction in which sound is propagating, translations, additional sound and improved sound also we can obtain with the help of these devices. Then motion along with haptic feedback we can obtain, then flavor and fragrance of the different users in the virtual environment can be obtained with the help of this VR air output devices. So, these are some softwares. So, VR softwares, it would be ideal to program the VR system by providing high level description and having the software that determines the low level details automatically. That means, in a VR engine, low level detail, uh, detailing of the environment can be done automatically. So, an application of VR broadens specialized VR engines are likely to emerge. So, this may involve a software developing kit that is called as SDK for particular headsets whichever headset you are using for that particular headset, we can develop the software development kit that handles the lowest level of operation such as device drivers, head tracking and the display output. So, nowadays uh, HMDs are enabled with the SDKs which we, you can directly use for the purpose of this head tracking and the display outputs. So, these are certain input devices that are used for the software part, head trackers, game controllers and the keyboard and mouse. So, it will be fed to the information will be fed to the virtual world generator and output will be in the term of visual display, oral display and haptic displays. So, let us see in the uh, this virtual uh, VR software part, what is the difference between this real world and the synthetic world. So, virtual world could be completely synthetic where numerous triangles can be defined in a 3D space along with the material that indicate how they interact with loud light sound and forces and computer graphics addresses the images from this particular synthetic models. Then virtual world might be recorded um, physical as a physical world that was captured using modern cameras, modern cameras, computer vision and simultaneous localization and mapping techniques that are the SLAM techniques. Then matched motion. So, most basic operation of the uh, virtual world generator is to maintain a correspondence between users motion in the real world and the virtual world. In this, in the real world, the users motion are confined to a safer region which is called as the matched zone. So, user can perform its necessary operation in a safer zone that is called as your matched zone and one of the greatest challenge in the virtual environment is mismatching within the obstacles. Finally, the user locomotion in many very VR experience, many VR experiences you just want to move well outside of the match zone. This motivates locomotion which means the movement in virtual world, but this motion is not matched with the real world. So, outside the uh, safer zone, the user can move also which is called as your locomotion. So, this is the, the in this particular thing, the user's motion will be not matched with the real world. So, certain physics network experience and developer choices for the VW virtual world generator we will explain, we will discuss also. So, the VWG that is virtual world generator handles the geometric aspect of the motion by applying appropriate mathematical transformation we will, which will, we will, we will see in the next lectures. The VWG usually implements some physics so that, that as the time progress the virtual world behaves like the real world that the user should feel that he is immersed in that virtual world, uh, immerse in the virtual world which is the replica of the particular real world. So, one important aspect is application of collision detection algorithm which determines whether the two or more bodies are intersecting in the virtual world. So, there should be collision between the user and the particular object present in the 
a virtual world with otherwise there will be propagation through the particular uh, object that is present in the virtual environment. Then network experiments uh, experiences in the case of network VR experience a shared virtual world is maintained by a server in which user has a distinct match zone their match zones might overlap in the uh, real world, but one must be careful about this matching so that they avoid unwanted collisions and developer choices for the virtual world generators also means maintained. So, developer may use a ready made virtual world generator which is customized to make a particular VR experiences. For that purpose open simulator wizard 5.0 now it is wizard 6.0 then unity 3d unity 3d and unreal engine are also used for this purpose. So, developer can start from start creating a SDK from for a headset will his own virtual world generator or use the existing virtual world ge generator devices virtual world generator devices along with the inbuilt SDK that is software development kits. So, what are the state of art of studies using this VR and AR techn uh, techniques? So, the technological characteristics are both uh, your virtual reality and augmented reality. So, and application domains are basically focused in hazard identification, safety education and training, safety inspection and ins instruction. So, these are all the applications related to the safety domain. Though VR and AR are applied to uh, many domains like uh, mining training, healthcare training and firefighting training. So, we are focusing on the safety domain in which hazard identification, safety education and training, then safety inspection and instruction can also be done. So, what are the safety enhancement mechanism that can be incorporated, where the safety enhancement mechanism can be incorporated? First is your working environment, then for the workers behavior, then regarding the high risk equipment simulation, then work sequence, work plan and work sequence. So, finally, your uh, created environment or virtual uh, gen world gen generated virtual world can be evaluated also with the respect of safety. So, for that subjective assessment and evaluation method is used and objective assessment and me evaluation method are used nowadays. So, let us see what certain applications regarding this virtual reality. Here you can see applications of VR. So, this is um, uh, this, this, this is from the journal of virtual reality in ophthalmology training which is published in survey of ophthalmology and this is ophthalmic, uh, ophthalmic uh, virtual reality surgical training system. You can see how they are using the virtual reality technique for the surgery purpose, surgical training system purpose. Similarly, you can see virtual reality based pilot training for underground coal miners. It is published in the safety science journal, uh, virtual reality based pilot training for underground coal miners in the year of 2015. So, here the uh, operators are uh, mine, coal miners are trained in the virtual environment regarding the how to operate inside an old underground coal mining. Now, here you can see virtual reality based accident simulation for training of a process industry operators. It is published in the advanced engineering uh, software uh, journal in 2013, in which the uh, operators are trained in the process industry for the uh, for the op standard operating to learn the standard operating procedure, how they will interact with different devices present in the process industries. Similarly, the virtual reality based interactive construction training simulator, here the uh, newly joined const uh, construction worker will be trained how to interact with the different kinds of devices or different kinds of equipments those are present in the construction op site or on site. So, this is published in the uh, uh, journal of advanced engineering informatics in 2012. So, in the construction site how you will train your operators or construction workers to react to different kinds of hazardous situation along with the different standard operating procedures. Now, ergonomic analysis of the operator also can be performed while assembly operation with the help of this virtual reality techniques. Now, identification of human error in EOT crane operation and visualization of using virtual simulation. It is published in a, um, uh, this work is published in a conference of recent advances in information technology in 2018, K. Dhal Mahapatra and J. Maiti. So, these are some references, important references regarding this particular lectures. So, where we um, adapt these techniques and collected information regarding this lectures. So, understanding virtual reality, a book by Sherman and Craig, Sherman and Craig, then Stephen M. Lamele, virtual reality book. Then this is a particular journal, a critical review of virtual reality and augmented reality applications in construction safety. 
So, in this particular uh, lectures, so what let uh, we, we saw how to approach, how to approach to virtual reality. So, how what is virtual reality VR, what is AR and what is MR and how the what is the components of the components of the virtual reality system that means component of virtual reality then how the VR techniques are working that means how the virtual world is generated that is VWG virtual world generator then what are the input and output devices that are nowadays used for the creation of virtual reality and augmented reality and finally what are the applications VR applications recent VR application those are very much applied to different very much applied to different industries. So, I hope this lecture will help you to gain certain knowledge about the virtual reality techniques although you can refer these books and the references which I have provided for the better knowledge of this virtual regarding this virtual reality, augmented reality and um, MR mixed reality and you can also think of how to apply this virtual reality technique for training purpose or hazard identification purpose or hazard recognition purpose in your particular workplace in which you are working. Thank you.